The great mind of Marcus Aurelius once said, Look within, within is the fountain of good, and it will ever bubble up if you will ever dig in the vast expanse of Stoic philosophy. Many teachings have become widely recognized, guiding countless individuals through life's challenges, yet within this treasure trove, there are lesser-known lessons profound and transformative waiting to be unearthed today. We journey together into the depths of Stoicism, exploring seven lessons that might be new to many, but hold the promise of timeless wisdom and insight. Join us as we delve into these hidden gems and discover the richness they offer for our modern lives. Before we begin, I would appreciate if you like the video so that you can help me to continue spreading the Stoic philosophy. If you are not subscribed, I recommend you to subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss any video lesson number one. The Art of Oikiosis Stoicism, a philosophy rich in wisdom and guidance, has many teachings that have stood the test of time. But today, let's delve into a lesser-known facet, a hidden gem, if you will, osis, while it might sound like a mouthful. Its essence is something deeply relatable and profoundly human, originating from the Greek word. For belonging or familiar osis speaks to our innate drive to care for ourselves and the realization that this drive naturally extends to others. It paints a picture of interconnectedness, a bridge between the love we have for ourselves and the love we rate into the world. Picture yourself standing in the midst of expanding circles. The innermost circle wrapping closely around you symbolizes your immediate family as the circles grow. They encompass friends, acquaintances, your local community, and eventually the entirety of humanity. This imagery inspired by the Stoic philosopher Hierocles is a poignant reminder of our place within the vast expanse of human relationships, reflecting on this interconnectedness. The wise Marcus Aurelius once said, observed, what is not good for the swarm is not good for the bee. This thought nudges us to recognize that our individual we begin is deeply intertwined with the collective. Every gesture, every word, every action we descend ripples through this vast web of human connections. So how might one weave osis into the fabric of daily life? Consider those moments of disagreement where emotions run high and understanding seems distant in such moments. Channeling the essences of osis mean stepping into the shoes of another, not to forsake your perspective, but to truly grasp theirs, this act of empathy. Lesson 2. The Value of Ascesis Ascesis is a Greek word that means self-discipline or training. It is a central concept in Stoicism, and it refers to the practice of voluntarily abstaining from pleasure or comfort in order to strengthen one's character and develop one's virtues. Stoics believed that ascasis was essential for living a good and virtuous life. They argued that by voluntarily abstaining from pleasure or comfort, we can learn to control our desires and become more indifferent to external things. This, in turn, makes us more resilient to adversity and more able to focus on what is truly important in life. There are many different ways to practice ascesis. Some Stoics practice fasting, while others practice sleeping on hard beds or wearing simple clothes. Some Stoics even practiced voluntary poverty or celibacy. The goal of ascesis is not to make life miserable for oneself. Rather, the goal is to develop the strength of character and the inner resources necessary to live a good life in any circumstance. The first and greatest victory is to conquer yourself. Plato. He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. Epictetus. The greatest wealth is to live content with little. Seneca. Lesson 3. The Cosmic Perspective The cosmic perspective is a stoic concept that refers to the view that we are all interconnected parts of a vast and orderly universe. Stoics believe that understanding our place in the universe can help us to live more meaningful and fulfilling lives. 
Stoics taught that we should not focus on our own individual desires and concerns, but rather on the larger good of the universe. They argued that we should strive to live in accordance with nature and to play our part in the cosmic drama. The cosmic perspective can help us to develop a sense of humility and to see our own problems in a more relative light. It can also help us to develop a sense of purpose and meaning in life. Man is a citizen of the universe. Marcus Aurelius We are all parts of one great whole. Seneca the universe is one living organism made up of many different parts. Epictetus Lesson 4 The role of fate in personal growth Stoics believe that everything that happens in the universe is predetermined by fate. This does not mean that we have no free will, but it does mean that we cannot control everything that happens to us. Stoics taught that we should accept what we cannot control and focus on what we can control. They argued that we can choose how we react to events and that our attitude is more important than what happens to us. The Stoic view of fate can be a source of great comfort and strength. It can help us to accept difficult times and to see them as opportunities for growth. It can also help us to develop a sense of inner peace and serenity. Everything that happens to you is for a reason. Marcus Aurelius the only thing we can control is our own attitude. Epictetus The things which happen to us are like the materials of a sculpture. We are the sculptors. Seneca Lesson 5 The Dichotomy of Control The dichotomy of control is a stoic concept that refers to the distinction between things that are within our control and things that are beyond our control. Stoics taught that we should focus our attention and energy on things that we can control and that we should accept and be indifferent to things that we cannot control. The dichotomy of control can be a helpful tool for managing stress and anxiety. It can help us to focus on what we can do and to let go of things that we cannot do. It can also help us to develop a sense of resilience in the face of adversity. Some things are within our power while others are not. Epictetus The only thing we can control is our own thoughts and actions. Marcus Aurelius It is not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Epictetus Lesson 6. The Practice of Prosoche Prosoche is a Greek word that means attention or heedfulness. It is a central concept in Stoicism and it refers to the practice of paying close attention to our thoughts, words, and actions. Stoics believe that prosoche is essential for living a good and virtuous life. They argued that by paying close prosoche is a Greek word that means attention or heedfulness. It is a central concept in Stoicism and it refers to the practice of paying close attention to our thoughts, words and actions. Stoics believe that prosochi is essential for living a good and virtuous life. They argued that by paying close attention to our thoughts, words and actions, we can develop self-awareness and self-control. We can also become more mindful of our choices and more aware of the impact that we have on others. There are many different ways to practice prosochi. One way is to simply take a few minutes each day to sit quietly and observe our thoughts. We can also practice prosoch by paying attention to our breath, our body sensations, and our surroundings. Another way to practice prosochi is to be mindful of our choices and actions. When we are about to say or do something, we can pause and ask ourselves if it is in alignment with our values. We can also ask ourselves if our words and actions are likely to have a positive or negative impact on others. The practice of prosashi can be challenging at first, but it becomes easier with time and practice. The more we practice prosoche, the more mindful and self-aware we become. This can lead to a number of benefits, including improved decision-making, reduced stress and anxiety, Increased self-compassion. More meaningful relationships. A greater sense of well-being.
Find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Sit comfortably with your back straight. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Focus your attention on your breath. Notice the rise and fall of your abdomen as you breathe in and out. If your mind wanders, gently bring your attention back to your breath. Continue breathing and focusing your attention for a few minutes. When you are ready, open your eyes and slowly return to your activities. You can also practice pro soche throughout the day. For example, when you are walking, take a few minutes to notice your surroundings and the sensations in your body. When you are talking to someone, give them your full attention and listen carefully to what they have to say. When you are eating, savor the taste and texture of your food. By practicing pro soche, we can develop a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. We can also make better choices and live more meaningful. Lesson 7. The Concept of Sympatheia Sympatheia is a Greek word that means sympathy or fellow feeling. It is a central concept in Stoicism and it refers to the Stoic belief that all human beings are interconnected and that we have a natural duty to care for one another. Stoics believe that sympathia is essential for living a good and virtuous life. They argue that we should not only care for our own well-being, but also for the well-being of others. They also believe that we should strive to live in harmony with nature and with all other living things. The concept of sympathia can be a source of great comfort and strength. It can help us to feel connected to others and to the world around us. It can also motivate us to act compassionately and to make the world a better place. We are all members of one great body, furnished by nature. Seneca, man is a social animal. Aristotle, we are all born into the same world and we all share the same destiny. Marcus Aurelius Life, lessons from Stoic philosophy live in the present moment. The past is gone and the future is not yet here. All you have is the present moment. So focus on living each moment to the fullest. Accept what you cannot change. Some things in life are beyond your control. Accept this and focus on what you can do to make the best of the situation. Be kind to yourself and others. Everyone makes mistakes. Be compassionate towards yourself and others. Live a virtuous life. Strive to live in accordance with the stoic virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Stoic philosophy can help us to live more meaningful and fulfilling lives. By following the stoic teachings, we can develop the strength of character and the inner resources necessary to overcome any challenge. Self-Reflection Upon Yourself As we conclude our journey through these lesser-known Stoic teachings, it's a moment to pause and reflect what resonated with you, which of these lessons had you encountered before, and which took you by surprise. Marcus Aurelius once said the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. So let's share and enrich one another comment below with your insights, revelations and discoveries which lesson spoke to you the most today. And more importantly, what colors will you add to your soul from what you've learned? We look forward to reading your reflections and continuing this enlightening journey together.